Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. So today we're going to be talking about Holy Dragon Grounds and how to clear up to you know grade five. So what I will be showing you is actually a team that I've been using already um, up up until grade five. So basically, if you if this is going to be successful, so obviously you're going to be successful from one, two, three, four up until five. So I've been using this team. I'm not saying that you use the exact, you know, the exact composition, but try to um, try to check for yourself if you have them and if you have alternate uh, heroes, if you don't have them. OK, so first and foremost um, that you notice here is that there are no um, no guardian stone indication on what you will be breaking. Um, my suggestion is that um, when you go to team, let's say we're now in na uh, Nature Bone Dragon, try to bring at least two of each um, position type. So I have here two supports. I have here as well um, two Chaos. Uh, you have. I only have one Defender. Because um, you may actually swap uh, Bernadette with uh, Chatty. Um, the, I'll explain later why I brought uh, Bernadette uh, because in, in, in lieu of Chatty. Uh, but again, it should be two of each. Um, as for my support, actually I have three because um, uh, this girl has revive. Uh, and also I have two attackers here. Again, so either two or three of each uh, position type. Okay, so let's go to what these heroes bring to the table and why I actually brought them. So as for Rudley, Rudley has barrier. So this is the one that I like about him. So grants um, bar equal to 10% of all maximum health with the lowest current health besides self upon attacking for five turns so he gives himself a barrier and himself as well and that is why i'm bringing him in this team so increase maximum health of allies equipped with past team i'm not sure if you have if he has somebody here who has um in the same theme but again these are not important the one that i'm looking at is the first passive next is we have maggie so for Maggie, I like the skill, the, um, this passive, why I'm bringing her. So grants a barrier again. Um, of course, um, they are first dragon, so they have barriers. Next is, um, same with Rera. Rera also has a barrier because she's a first dragon. So that is why I brought her. For Garf, it's more on... Uh, barrier will... Then he has this one, maximum health to all allies in the back row. Grants a barrier maximum health to all allies, but his damage is to the back row. So that is why I'm bringing him. So mostly, the, the trend that I'm saying, guys, is most of the enemy, most of the units or the heroes that you'll be bringing is giving you either healing or either um, barriers. So for Legger... Um, I'm bringing Legger uh, because of her revive. This is why I'm bringing her um, not so much for the other skills. Then we have here the other five. So Bernadette, why I put her in, in, in you know, uh, to replace uh, Chatty uh, because of this one. Randomly destroys one Guardian Stone from target. So that is why I'm bringing her. But Chatty is actually equally as dependent as her because I need you will eventually need um, two two tanks or two defensive type heroes aside from aside from um, Garf, and also she has damage damage immunity for uh, only one time self when own health falls thirty percent or below after receiving damage. So that is why you have her and. Oh, actually, one of my MVPs, uh, MB, MVPs, what's happening to me today, um, is going to be Sewa because of heal over time. Take note, um, heal over time heroes are also important, especially for her because she grants healing. And uh, another healing here, um, 
not healing they just actually resurrect but the resurrect actually doesn't trigger within the nine turn span so this is not really important what is important is actually this one um the, the heals all allies i'm oh, sorry the, yeah the heals all allies and the heal over time up there so next is going to be baraka so for baraka um i'm bringing him because of double team although he's squishy um i don't really care at this point because um we have revive in the team so that is why it's it's okay so uh this is what i want the trick the the one that triggers double team and also same for Reiner. What why I bring Reiner is triggers double team when an ally attacks an enemy. Okay. Again, reminder, I'm not saying that you bring them specifically if there are other heroes with, with the same um type of needs that you have. So um heal over time, double team, um barriers. You can actually substitute some of them. The core I, I think that you should try to bring is going to be Sewa and Rudley because they're they're the ones who will be mostly left during the battle for me based on my experience so let's take a look at um the equipment by the way guys is not really as important as the artifact the equipment just equip them regularly what you need if they need a boost for health for attack um just equip them regularly this one um i actually ran out of artifacts so I gave her attack speed, similar with um, uh, Baraka giving him attack speed. For Seowa, I'm giving her a 40% chance to reset a turn for random ally upon receiving damage. So turn resets are actually valuable in, in your teams. And also for Bernadette, so increase own critical rate. Um, not so much important. Um, just equipped her with this one too for additional damage. Um, as for the other five for Legger, um, she also has heal over time, as you see here. For the low to, to ally with the lowest health percentage to heal for three percent of targets health over three turns. So this one I have to enhance because it's at zero, but never mind, it's okay. But again, these are artifacts that you should bring. So again, similar theme to the abilities. So if you could have artifacts with the same abilities or pseudo abilities, then you put them or you equip them. Um, for Garf, this one is actually good. Share health to all allies to transfer 10% of damage to self. If you have additional, um, uh, what do you call this? Additional artifacts uh, such as this one. Equip them to tanks because they're going to be good uh, for for Rera. So increase own uh, own damage and uh, for Maggie, this is actually for damage as well. Increase own attack by twenty percent and grants a bar equal to ten percent of own maximum health when basic attacking. And last one for Redley is increase own attack by thirty percent and heals for twenty five percent of own health. When own health falls below 30% or below one time per battle. Again, your artifacts are going to be your backups. Um, this one, if you have multiple copies of this one, this is also good. So more or less, what I'm saying is um, fighting the dragon is actually going to rely on the number of hero types that you have. So again, two or three of each. So you have four types. Then also um, the heroes with their built-in abilities is uh, important, especially for revive, heals, heal over time, and barrier. So those are the heroes that you typically should bring. And I tested this lineup already. This lineup is actually good with either fire bone dragon, nature bone dragon, and deep sea bone dragon. So let's... Uh, Let's do one round, guys, um, of um, nature because this is uh, the current one for the day and at grade five. So again, as you as you go through the grades, um, better rewards um, as you go up, uh, especially for grade five. So let's just check this out and see, you know, just one battle sample of how a typical um grind auto grind especially if you built your team that well they will actually take care of themselves 
Okay, guys, so we are back. So I just had to reset the emulator, of course. But this is it. This is the lineup that we were talking about. So as you can see, um, if you can recall, the dragon attacks um, every, I think, third or fourth. I think it's third. After three, three heroes of yours attack, then um, he attacks. But... For the first wave, there are there are a series of turn resets and other things that are triggering. That is why um, the dragon hasn't attacked yet. So, um, again, as you can see there, turn reset. But, again, I think every three or four, four turns of you, then the dragon attacks you. So, um, this is going to be a bit long, guys. As you can see, every, every, what do you call this, every stage or every grade uh, is going to be at 100, 3, 5, 7, I think, and 9, sorry, and, and 1, and 1 million. But more or less, the goal here for grade 5 um, level for Holy Dragon Grounds is going to be 1 million damage. As you can see, um, again... We are at usually Baraka dies first, and uh, Rhinor because they're too squishy. Um, um, even health and uh, barriers cannot really save them. Again, the point of you giving or bringing different types of um, you know um, different types of uh, positions or types um, like for example, you have attack, defense, support. And you have chaos because you need to break the guardian stones. And usually this is covered. That is why you can't see it. And now, as you can see, it, it's being revealed right now what they are. So ideally, again, you bring at least one type so that you can break and uh, what do you call this? And you can um, break the guardian stones of the dragon. Ultimately, your shields and your healing and your revive won't really be enough to support the whole team. Because again, um, there will only be a few that will survive. Um, usually, uh, Legger would be able to, uh, what do you call this? Would be able to revive you, put a shield on you, and the others can provide healing. But again, the dragon is too powerful that... It you know um, it dwindles down. Usually, what happens is um, I'm only left with either five. Um, even before I even had, I think two left, and I was able still to kill the dragon. So the two usually that are left are again would be Radley and would be Seowa and also Maggie. So three, I mean three. So again, they are going to be your core. The rest are just supporting uh, you so that everybody in this group would be able to survive as long as possible. Seowa is actually very good in terms of the heals. Very good hero to bring here. So actually, in the in, in the first round of tests, I actually forgot that she didn't need the uh, she didn't need <laughs> Schmidt to trigger some of her abilities so i did actually bring schmidt in my couple of tests so reiner is actually down she's down and uh forgive my you know forgive my uh my game if there is some lag in between i don't know if it's in if it's going to be uh, in the emulator side or it's going to be in the game side or I'm not sure. It's, I'm, I'm I'm sure it's not of the internet. But again, forgive me if um, it's kind of lagging a bit, not that smooth. So we're left with nine. So good strategy so far. We're at halfway. Halfway is five hundred thousand. So the goal is to reach uh, one million, uh, so that you can achieve this level at one hundred percent and maximum rewards as well. So um, again, we're, we're at full capacity because of the revived of Legger. Legger is actually one, one of the MVPs in this uh, what do you call this in in this stage because the revive and the heal and, and the revive and the shield are very very good, 
especially if you have heroes that are very squishy. Um, Baraka and uh, Reiner in particular, they're going to die easily. So who else is actually good here? Again, you have Garf there for shared health, for barriers as well. Luna, you have Luna for healing. Um, she gives resurrect, but it's not really a factor because it's you know it's only active for nine turns. Some sometimes um, nobody dies in that in 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 the nine turns. So Rera is actually just here for damage, nothing else, and her shield as well. So this is a good run so far. We're nearing seven hundred thousand, and uh, again here's the revive again for Legger. As you can see, uh, revive failed. Anyway, we're still down two. So, again, as you see, they're resurrect. And more healing from Sewa. Nearing 700 guys. Just a little bit more. So, so far, at the end of each battle with the dragon, um, Breaking Garden Stones is actually a plus. But not really a must. The only reason why I wanted to br to break Garden Stones is also to give more damage as usual. So, again, it's really not a need, but it's good to have, um, especially when fighting the dragon. Because, again, if you don't have um, any or heroes to break Garden Stones, um, it's going to take long. Like, for example, what I have left is going to be your defense. So... Garf is actually um, ideal for this, and Bernadette if uh, she uses her S1. As you can see, Garf did it uh, again. Break so that we could uh, we could exploit bigger damages to the dragon. So still two two have died. You can actually tweak your lineup, guys. This is just um, one of the most optimized team that I've seen or I have done. Um, you can actually use this composition. But again, if you don't have all of them, I I would suggest that you try to try to uh, experiment with other lineups because um, in Holy Dragon Grounds, um, it's actually easier now than before that you can really um, tweak your lineups depending on your artifacts, the, the, you know, the heroes that you have. So again, this is just a guide on more or less who is likely to be in your team and what types you need to have. So basically, it's all of the types that you need to have. So is this a revive again? Yes, it's a revive. So again, we're full. And we're at 800. So that is why Legger is here. Um, you can substitute Legger with Karen if you want, if you want to bring her instead of Legger. But for me, I have Legger built up already, even from you no know, before the the whole uh, shebang or the whole rework of the whole game. So I opted to bring her because I more or less built her right already. So we're at eight hundred fifty, and hopefully we're gonna be done in 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 a bit. So this is, I think, a good sign because all 10 are still alive. So again, moving forward, guys, it's okay to lose a couple um, as long as you kill the dragon with, uh, with uh, 1 million total damage. So we're at 921. 921 Garf, 928. So here's Bernadette. So bigger damage again. She breaks Guardian Stones. And uh, 934. Go guys. Need to slay this dragon. Because again, if you're going to do this stage, if you're going to auto-play the stage and um, you want to have a couple of um, matches in and farm for equipment, you need to make sure that you farm this stage faster. <laughs> again... Okay, so <laughs> we're at 100% and 1 million damage. So reach phase 5 and here are your rewards. Okay, guys, so that is it for for my run for Holy Dragon Grounds. So hope sh uh, hopefully you can actually test this lineup out and also try to mix and match. And uh, hopefully you can comment down the results of your own formations and what you have done with your own team. 
Okay, thank you guys for staying this far and hopefully you do subscribe to my channel if you have not yet because I'll be making more Exos Heroes content in the future. Don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss it and put a like to this video. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.